Tonight, a vigil in the port city honors those lost due to senseless violence. As WKRG News 5's Dana Winter shows us, even though stormy weather changed the event's location, families filled the Government Plaza atrium coming together for healing. Jamarcus Lewis. Colby Gripke. The name of each person killed read aloud for everyone to hear. David Beck Shank. Mobile's crime victims vigil honors those killed. For some families, this is now an annual tradition. If you listen to the stories, the loss, the pain is always the same for everyone. But for others, it's their first time coming to this night. I wanted to come in support. It's okay. Of my son Samuel, who was killed in 2019. I guess I haven't gotten over it yet, but um, I still haven't had closure regarding his death. And I just wanted to come and support others that may have lost someone too. It is Several so speakers took to the podium, sharing the stories family. and giving hope. The vigil is part of National Crime Victims National Rights Crime. Week. This year, the theme is it. Survivor Voices, Elevate, so. Engage, Affect Change. Those victims no longer has a voice. It is us who have to carry on and speak for them. Two, three. <laughs> At the end of the vigil, families released butterflies into the air. A moment of hope in what is such a dark time for these families. Reporting in Mobile, I'm Dana Winter for WKRG News 5.